Alright, what's up guys? Single player Nacho here. The Resident Evil series kills, maims, tortures, and traumatizes its characters. It's a fun time, really. So it's not surprising that some of our most beloved protagonists end up going missing entirely. These are six characters that we haven't heard from in an alarming amount of time. Capcom infamously switches out its lead characters, and this list won't feature extremely minor characters who pretty much lived out their five minutes of fame. These are characters whose fates have been left shrouded in mystery, or worse. Without further ado, let's get to it. Billy Cohen is the perfect subject for a mysterious ending. Last seen in Resident Evil Zero, nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, has featured Billy Cohen since the year 2001. Worse yet. Billy's last known whereabouts aren't the safest on the planet, the Arclay Forest. A forest that, at the time, was filled with zombies and other horrible creatures. RE Zero's ending is glowy and gives off a happy ending vibe to it, but the vast hellish landscape that Billy would need to travel out of assures me that something happened on his way out. Perhaps something even worse than death. In the game, Wesker is seen monitoring Billy. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. him. Wesker has this thing for test subjects, and upon seeing Billy's survival skills, Wesker may have had other plans for Billy. One crazy theory is that Billy went on to become a test subject for the Nemesis program. I mean, he does have a very distinct tone when saying the word stars. See, you're with stars. In all likelihood, Billy changed his identity and moved very, very far away from crazy old Raccoon City. I mean, he was just about to be executed for crimes he didn't commit. Although, the ending to his story is still open to interpretation, and that's what makes Billy's status completely unknown. Sheva Alamar is a complete badass. She fought for her homeland under the BSAA alongside Chris Redfield and put an end to the Shady Shades Man, allegedly. But since 2009, she's yet to make a physical appearance in another RE game. After RE5, Sheva continued operating in West Africa with the BSAA. The only other update we've received from Sheva is secretly hidden in an email file found in Resident Evil 6. She states her concern for Chris's whereabouts and would gladly help if called upon. Though, this email was sent while complete global chaos was occurring with the C-Virus, an event that may have reached Sheva's homeland once again. And seeing as she was still putting up the fight against bioterrorism, Sheva may have been in danger. Here's hoping for another Sheva appearance down the line. Now this is one guy that no one is hoping will return. Last seen in 1998, Nikolai is the human antagonist in Resident Evil 3, a UCBS rescue agent who is more concerned with money than saving people's lives. When we last see Nikolai, he's just about to make his escape from Raccoon City before it gets nuked, an event that he was largely responsible for. Thankfully, things didn't work out for Nikolai, and he's left helicopterless in a town that's minutes away from being obliterated. Essentially, he's left for dead. Nikolai's fate seems pretty much sealed, but according to the Resident Evil wiki, his status is still unknown. Some way, somehow, Nikolai's battle data was still authored days after the collapse of Raccoon City by the man himself, and he had many evil connections with access to helicopters that desperately needed his data. We're talking Wesker, Sergei Vladimir, those kinds of connections. Could he have survived? It's possible, but death seems like a better end to his story. This is the human units never killed, or the name we all know him by, Hunk. Easily, the most mysterious character in all of Resident Evil. His reputation of never dying in the most dangerous missions earned him that nickname. A nickname that displays infinite health and all-around badassery. 
last seen in 2003, at least within the canon. But is Hunk more of a myth than an actual death escaping hero? The thing is, Hunk doesn't have an actual identity. No name and some vague photos of his face is all we have. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint what may have happened to him. Well, he's also known as the Grim Reaper, but that's about it. Hunk is also a legendary Umbrella operative. And Umbrella is an insane organization. Who in their right minds would want to work for Umbrella? Let me know in the comments. It's possible that Umbrella would want to make up this Hunk figure to boost the morale of their employees. And if that was the case, Hunk could be a moniker given to various people. But that's a rabbit hole that we won't go down. Hunk's last known whereabouts after the official end of his employer Umbrella was developing cool weapons such as zombie jammers and bite guards. He should still be alive, I mean, he is impossible to kill, right? Jill Valentine has been missing in more ways than one. One of Star's best ever operatives, she single-handedly took down the nemesis and nearly stopped the destruction of Raccoon City. Unfortunately, a person with these particular set of skills is going to be noticed by the wrong eyes, or shades in this case. Albert Wesker kidnapped Jill and trained her to become his personal killing machine. Jill is nearly unrecognizable under this hypnotic state and she'd been missing for two whole years. She'd been missing for so long that she was officially pronounced dead. Thankfully, you can save Jill during the events of Resident Evil 5, but since that game, nothing has really surfaced about this iconic character again. And you have to remember how important Jill is to the entirety of the series. She's the only true main character on this list, and yet, updates on her status have gone cold. The most that we have gotten as far as an update is an email Jill sent to Barry Burden after the events of RE5. Of course, Jill has had to strenuously go to rehab after literally being hypnotized under Wesker. She seems to be in a stable state of mind within the email, stating that she's pretty bored and wants to get back onto the field for the good guys again. Classic Jill Sandwich. Will we see her out there once again? Only time will tell. Now this is one character that everyone should agree is completely dead. A touching moment in Code Veronica sees Steve Burnside professing his love to Claire Redfield seconds before passing away and just after rescuing her. He'd been forcefully infected with the T. Veronica virus and became a large abomination. But is this truly the end for Steve? And once again, I have to mention Albert Wesker. Are you guys seeing a pattern between this guy and missing characters? It's strange. After Steve's apparent death, Wesker drops a subtle hint as to what may have actually happened to Steve and his true fate. That's no longer a concern to me. I have Steve to work with. What? Steve. In his body, there's still a living T. Alexia virus. Steve should be a good specimen. Maybe he'll come back alive just as I did and be able to see your sister again. You freak! Don't you touch him! I'm sorry, dear heart. But my men have already taken him. During the ending to Code Veronica, Wesker tells Chris that it's possible to revive Steve. The Shady Shadesman is no stranger to taking people, dead or alive, so long as they are worthy test subjects or have some kind of virus attached to them. Could he have taken Steve Burnside to become yet another one of his lab rats? Or was this a psychological tactic to further anger Claire after losing a close new friend? Steve Burnside would essentially become a younger, more hip version of Lisa Trevor, whose whereabouts are also unconfirmed. Umbrella has been able to operate in full secrecy, so I wouldn't be surprised if Steven was kept as one of their unlucky prisoners, which is much worse than dying on the spot. Still, I'd say it's more likely that Steve did in fact die, but with the level of torture and experiments in this series, I wouldn't be surprised 
if you were still alive, but captured. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Which Resident Evil protagonist or minor character would you like to see return in a future game? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more horror lore, lists, and mysteries. Have an awesome rest of your day, and thank you all for the continued support. It really means a lot. And as always, stay single.